Do you ever wish you had a personal hype girl? Someone to pump you up when you're feeling down or high five you when things go right? Well, guess what? I'm your girl, that's me, and that's what Talks With Your Trainer is all about. So stand up, chin high, get your party pump on, and let's get after it. And five, six, seven, eight. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Talks With Your Trainer. I'm your host, Megan Trainer, and I'm really excited to be here. This episode is going to be uh, towards, I'm going to take a pause from these podcasts because I've got a crazy month of July. So getting in here to record is very challenging. So this is, you know, emotional. We're going to take a pause from each other for just a little bit, just a little bit while I'm traveling and doing a bunch of summer stuff. Don't worry, you can still get your fix over at Body by Trainer on Instagram or uh, on my subscription. So if you're feeling like you need a little peg in your life, you know you can find me all day, every day. However, with the talks with your trainer, I wanted this episode to be special, a touch emotional, happy tears uh, of just recognizing what the Body by Trainer community has meant to me and continues to mean to me. Um, I want to read a couple of more of those amazing stories I read to you in the last podcast episode, which was very well received. And that made me so happy because I love sharing your stories with the community who listens to this podcast. Um, A couple of people have asked me over the last four years, how do you continue to show up with energy to do these workouts like it's your first workout? How have you not gotten, you know, burned out from this? And the answer is you. The answer is every single person who decides to show up and press play and work out with me, whether it's sweating, crying, laughing, uh, just being present and, and a part of this community, you are the reason that I continue to love showing up, that I sit down and write new workouts every single morning, even when I'm really tired or potentially hungover, and just wanting to create a great workout for you. And the messages that you guys have shared with me, a couple that I'm going to read today, are the reason that I have so much enthusiasm and excitement and and true passion to be there to work out with you guys. So I want to make this episode a, you know, story time with Peg, just share a couple of stories that have really touched my heart and perhaps will resonate with some of you who have been with me for four years or maybe it's been four months and you've experienced some life-changing moment through these workouts because of the therapeutic release that they provide to you through pushing yourself when you didn't want to show up, through working through having to take a step back if you have an injury. And I know how hard that can be. Over the last four years, I've had my fair share of, you know, ups and downs with with my body going through some changes. And you guys have been there for me and allowed me to take modifications. And I love going beast mode. I love sending it. I love challenging you guys to pick up the heavier weights. But I also am very realistic and need to be uh, true to myself and my body and recognize that this is one body and I got to take care of it. So I have also gone through times where I've needed to go lighter, which has been really hard for me mentally. And when I do that, I understand you guys are also absorbing it and saying to yourself, okay, well, if my coach, Megan, is able to go lighter because she's working through an injury, that gives me the permission to recognize I should probably do the same. And by doing that, you're eliminating a potential injury that's even greater than what you're already working through. And a lot of the the clam community has gone through pregnancies and working through changing your body and seeing your body just completely change and having to take a step back from what you're used to doing. And then also having had the baby, working through how do you get back to that, you know, it's a new body now. You've created a human, so it's going to be different. Liz. (laughs) And you're going to experience different feeling of, wait, this is not how I used to look in these shorts. And I used to be able to do 10 burpees and now it's hard to do one. So those are the changes that 
a lot of you have experienced and expressed with me that have helped you get in a better mental mindset. So thank you for sharing these stories with me. I'm going to get into them in just a moment. Um, But as I sit here with my legs crossed, my inner thighs are truly like quivering. Um, I just did two workouts. I don't know why. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. But I've been kind of kicking my own ass lately, and I'm loving it. I love the feeling of being breathless and challenging myself when I can, you know, like when you have the injury, you got to take a step back. But when you're feeling healthy and fresh, it is go time dog. And that's kind of how I've been lately doing these workouts. So it's been feeling, been feeling really good. And I don't know, when I was in Florida this past weekend, I was there for work, but I extended my stay, of course, um, to have some time with Nurse Joni and my girlfriends down in Delray Beach. And uh, whenever Joni and I are together, it's like balls to the wall in all the areas, like work hard, play hard. So we know how to have a great time. And then we also like to kick our ass in the gym. And I did a, we did a cardio class on Sunday um, at Pure Life in Delray Beach, which is the, the gym that I used to be a personal trainer and group fitness instructor at back when I lived in Delray. Shout out to my friends at Pure Life. Um, amazing gym. If you're in Delray, you got to go. And we did the cardio class and holy hail. I mean, it was really challenging. But it was because Joni and I were there to support each other and motivate each other. We could have done the same exact class and have had less enthusiasm, no energy, no balls to the wall, no beast mode, and it would have been a completely different story. But when we're together, we motivate each other. You know, we're doing mountain climbers in sync. One, two, one, two, one, two. We pop up, we snap our hands together, and we give ourselves a high five, like without even rehearsing it. So it's just one of those things that Joni and I are um, really good at. We're good at synchronizing mountain climbers, burpees, uh, high fives, and just working hard. I don't know what I did, but you know when you're going a little harder, sometimes sometimes things happen. So I think I um, pulled my groin, which is awful. Um, My mom and I are playing in a member-member golf tournament tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. The theme is actually your alma mater. So I will be proudly representing for the Elon Phoenix. Go Elon University. Proud alumni. And uh, we'll be wearing, you know, the colors of your school. Uh, my mom got her master's at Temple University. She went to, um, the College of New Jersey. Uh, well, that's not what it's called, the College of New Jersey, but back then it was called Trenton State. And so she's going to be representing for Temple University where she got her master's. She got her master's in education. So we're looking forward to it. It's going to be 97 degrees, so that's exciting. But it's going to be just a fun day. I'm so thankful that I have this in common with my mom to be able to play golf with her and just to have the you know four and a half hours together where we're just in the cart chatting having fun both of us are competitive so of course we're going to try hard we're going to want to play well for each other because normally golf is an individual sport but in things like member members member guests you have a partner which is so nice because it alleviates a little bit of that pressure when you're playing because you're like, oh God, I hope my partner doesn't suck on this hole at the same time as I do. And it makes it kind of like a fun team sport, sporting event. But ultimately I told my mom, I said, mom, please don't, cause she doesn't, she wants to play well for herself, but she also wants to make me proud. Um, and I love that. I think that's awesome. But I told her, please don't add any pressure to yourself. I'm just so excited that we're going to be out there playing golf together, sweating, like mad women, but having a good time together and just having, creating these memories. So I hope my, my pulled groin does not affect my golf swing tomorrow. Um, there's a lot of rotational movement in the golf swing. Your lower body is massively important. So we shall see. And I don't think doing two workouts today was, you know, a really smart decision peg, but it's, it is what it is. I'm not going to do workout tomorrow morning. I am going to try to do uh, something called stretching. And I know we don't really do it much in the clam shack and I'm sorry about that, but uh, we're, I'm going to do some stretching tomorrow, which I think will be really good. And I know you've been wondering how my nodes have, have been and how they've uh, been progressing. And I can tell you what, being with your best friend in Delray Beach where you love is not a great place to start your vocal rest. I don't really believe I've done a great job of that, but um, 
I'm trying in the workouts. So there's like one area that I'm improving upon. And I talked with my brother about it and he's like, Peg, it's not going to change your life. You just got to like maybe take a step back somewhere talking a little bit less. So um, as I talk to you, I'm very cognizant of the voice and I understand through a little bit of research, I have my um, speech pathology um, pathologist appointment in a couple of weeks, but light Googles have shared with me that you're going to be speaking a little bit lower from a little lower place in your diaphragm. So I look forward to, I look forward to having that, uh, lesson and trying to figure out how I can talk better, but we're doing good and we are feeling spectacular. Um, so next week, sorry, sorry, on Sun Saturday, I'm going to the beach for two weeks, which is a huge part of why I'm just going to take a little pause from podcast recordings um, because I'll be away for, well, almost three weeks. And I'm really looking forward to that time with the family, just great memories made uh, on the beach and riding bikes and just playing golf with my family. And I'm looking forward to it. So um, you will see me on the Instagrams doing workouts with mostly my mom loves to do the workouts with me. My sister-in-law loves to join in sometimes. And, you know, Delaney, she'll always be there for the beginning and then homegirl pieces out. And uh, then she'll come back in at the end just to, you know, um, share with the clams what a great job they did. So that'll be a lot of fun. I hope you guys um, will enjoy my family vacation in Hilton Head. I'm looking forward to it. It's like, oh, it's my favorite thing. As soon as I drive over on 278, there's the bridge that brings you over into Hilton Head. It's just like all of your stress just goes away. And it's like, oh, I'm here. I'm so happy to be here. And um, I'm excited to create some new memories with my family and friends. Got some friends that'll be there as well at the same time. So that'll be a lot of fun. Um, in the interest of time, um, I'd like to share some of these stories with you. So happy tears, if they happen to, to happen, if they happen to happen, they will be happy tears. Again, um, I shared last time with you, it's very important that I say this. Um, in the last podcast episode, I made reference to the fact that I'm not sharing these stories to highlight myself and say great things about me. Yes, it makes me feel unbelievable. And and you guys are so complimentary and so kind. And your words make me feel so good. But that um, isn't the real reason that I want to share them. It's to relate to you and have these messages be something that might motivate you to get moving. Again, it doesn't have to be body by trainer. These women shared these with me because of our experience together in the Clam Shack and this community. I've said it before, I think one of the biggest differences with Body by Trainer and some other online platforms are the people that are in it. You guys make up such a strong community of really inspiring women. And a lot of times in the beginning of these messages, you guys are so sweet to me. And so me sharing those, I am a little you know, a little uncomfortable because I don't want this to be about that. But I do want to share with you that um, these workouts, a workout, your movement, feeling better about yourself can drastically impact your life and change it in a way that is positive and, and happy and optimistic. So without further ado, I did this time, you guys, you should be so proud of me. I did actually look through some of them and, and, prepare a little bit. I know. It's weird. I prepared just a touch. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to keep these anonymous. Um, last time I did this was talking with Liz from Everybody's Studios here. And we were like, maybe there's a segment. It's called like Storytime with Peg. And if people want their story to be um, shared with their name, then they kind of allow me to do that. So um, Maybe that would encourage more people to listen to the podcast if maybe their story was on here. I don't know. Or we'll just keep it anonymous, which is totally fine, too, because, again, it's about the story and the message more so than it is about me or or said human. I do share a lot of these, say, a long message in the beginning, so don't panic. Don't freak out. Uh, like this, I'm going to hide the name, but this is a long story. So it's not that long, you know, but people feel like, oh God, she's probably so busy. I don't want to take up her time, but here we go. A long message to ultimately say, thank you. Yesterday, I cried my heart out with you. Last September during plank month, 
my husband and I experienced a miscarriage. I planked, I screamed out my sadness, anger, and pain. I planked some more. We had more losses. I kept showing up for me. I worked through my sadness and heartbreak, small victories and big ones, good days and bad days. I kept giving the gift of me because I needed it, and you were always there for me through it. Yesterday, we had a three-month sonogram, and all is on track and so good. I came home and showed up, and girl, I sobbed. I sobbed all the hard of the past year, and I cheered you on while you did the same. I cannot thank you enough for this gift. Three years running and now second pregnancy in, I am stronger, happier, and healthier than I have ever been, and I couldn't have done it without you always being there for us. Also, today's arm workout was a killer. (laughs) And you're right, today is a brand new day. I just love that so much for a variety of reasons. I mean, the emotional roller coaster that this incredibly strong woman has gone through and to know that she's had since this another healthy baby is truly unbelievable and such a um, gift to be a part of it, to be able to say that I was able to show up and do a workout and that was what helped this incredible mom um, become stronger physically and mentally. So thank you for sharing that one. Hi, I hope this doesn't get too long, but I have to say thank you. Two weeks ago, I went to Mexico for spring break. For the first time since I was in college, I ordered swimsuits. Not swim shorts and flowy swim swim tops. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I actually ordered swimsuits. And guess what? I wore them. I am nowhere near the weight that I want to be. I have a lot of cellulite and a very loud and sometimes very mean inner voice judging me. But because of you and the clams in this community, I had the other voices who were louder and cheering for me. It was so freeing just to be. I walked on the beach and reminded myself of how strong my legs are and how lucky I was to have the stamina to keep up with my teenage daughter. We took pictures and selfies. I ate and I drank and I left my anxiety in my suitcase. Seriously, thank you. You've helped me build my confidence outside of the way I look physically. You and the clams are such a treasure. I mean, that's just fantastic. That's always what I hope for is to know that you get up and you walk from that beach chair to the bathroom or to the pool bar gyms and not thinking about, oh my God, my cellulite is looking like, oh God, that person's probably looking at my stomach. No, you just walk over because you're in a great headspace and you feel confident and you think about The things that you do that you can do, like the workouts, like going for bike rides, like keeping up with your teenage daughter. And those are what I want you to be thinking about versus how you look. I know it's impossible. Duh. I get that. But it's one of those things that if we work on it and we work on it and we work on it, it can become better. And I'm very much doing the same. And especially as I go to the beach, you know. I will have some thoughts in my head as well, but I am going to focus on having the voices that are louder be the ones that are reminding me of how lucky I am to be able to be here with my family and do these things. So I hope that if you have a vacation coming up, those are the thoughts that are louder in your head than the negative ones. You just smack them. You just smack them across the face and say, not today, dog, you know? So um, I, I, that's my wish for you and your summer trips. Happy Saturday, Megan. To keep a long story short, these people sound like me. (laughs) I've been meaning to send a note of appreciation. I left my job in December 21 and was in an unhappy, defeated, and burnt out place. Fast forward, I have worked hard to get my mental and physical health back in priority. Looking back on these last six months, I want you to know BBT got me through my most challenging days. Thank you for always showing up for us, even on days when you didn't feel like you could. I would burst into tears in so many classes in January and February, just feeling like a mountain was ahead of me. But I left each of those workouts feeling inspired to keep going. It also boosted my confidence when applying for jobs and interviewing. I'm finding that I still get emotional in our workouts, but for a reason of feeling really proud of myself and also just sappy. So all that to say, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for creating the Clam community, devoting your energy to all of us and being you. 
like I said, you guys, it's this community. And what I think is so cool is a lot of these messages aren't just saying how it was me that helped them through these workouts. It was so many of these messages reference the community and the way that you all have been able to connect with each other is so cool. I just find it freaking awesome that we've gone to Cancun twice. We're going to go to the Dominican Republic and you guys have become such great friends with each other without knowing one another perhaps four years ago. And you've now become lifelong friends. And some of you have been invited into other people's weddings in this community. And it's just so cool to think of what the human nature can do with friendship. Like, you can make new friends. I know it's harder as we get older because we don't have so many activities that we can rely on to be like, oh, I'll go to, you know, the sorority party and maybe meet some new friends. You have to be more diligent in getting involved, like playing pickleball, going to pickleball classes, taking dance classes, being in a golf league, doing things that you find passionate, that you're passionate about, but then getting involved in them. So I know that that's a challenge in life, but being a part of this community is a great way to do that. And so if I encourage you to get involved, I know some of you are quieter clams than others. Some of you don't love to post recaps and things like that, but Perhaps it's just a moment to remember that stepping outside your comfort zone just a little bit to reach out to one of these clams that might be a little bit more of an extrovert and you're more of an introvert is is scary at first. But I think once you do it, you're going to be like so happy that you finally did it because I haven't met one clam that isn't welcoming. Some are louder than others. <laughs> and some are quieter, but every single one is kind and has a great heart. So encouraging you to step outside and, and connect. And I'm just so happy that this person has found happiness in these workouts and have made them more confident in the interview process. So thanks, girl. Megan, where do I begin? Fun fact, last year I stood on a beach in beautiful Picton, Ontario at the provincial park called Sandbanks. I made myself a promise that the next time I stood on that beach as a 40-year-old woman, that I would be in the best shape of my life. I could never find the motivation to work out. Nothing ever seemed to work because I was just not interested. Fast forward to October when I was out to dinner with my beautiful breast best friend person, the first thing I noticed was how incredible she looked. She went on to tell me about this incredible girl named Megan Trainer, who kept her motivated every single day. She just sang your praises and let me tell you, I immediately started following you and I could tell right away that this was something I could totally get on board with. It took me till February to actually get started. I was immediately hooked. You and this community have created a light in my life. Today, I went bathing suit shopping and I cried. I cried happy tears because I accomplished exactly what I set out to do. In 10 days, I will be standing on that same beach in that bathing suit and you better believe I'll be thinking of you. Thanks, girl. Ah, yes, ma'am. I just get so motivated when I hear women share these stories about how they're like, I had a goal. I worked my ass off and then I did it and I improved to myself that I can do hard things. I can do things that make me uncomfortable, that are going to be challenging, and then you do it and it's just like that aha moment where you feel so proud of yourself. I get so tickled. I get so tickled when I hear stories of women feeling good about themselves. Isn't that so freaking awesome? It's just like, you go, girl. I just love it. So hell yeah to this person. And I feel like I need to go to Picton, Ontario to check out this sandbanks. Sounds gorge. Girlfriend, I've I hope you have had the best time in Mexico with your girls this week. So this was probably like oh, three years ago. I just wanted to tell you that Saturday I had to get after it about an hour before your live sweat. So I did the Clementine rewind from last year. That was, you know, Clementine, Valentine's Day. You know, got it. Um, it was pretty cool doing a rewind with you in recent time. But your coaching has improved in a major way. I liked this one because you got to be able to self-reflect. You got to be able to like be, you know, personally positively critical, but honest with yourself and not think that you've got it figured out. You got to be able to learn and grow. And I appreciated this person 
expressing that. I sweat my ass off, but you've definitely stepped up your game. You have given me so much confidence and determination over the last two weeks. I was fit before knowing BBT, but I have never had the confidence I've found with BBT. I have pushed four human beings out of my body, but you have given me the confidence to rock that body. I'll never be a tight-bodied 20-year-old again, but I am a badass 39-year-old mama of four. All that confidence is because of you. Well, I would like to say thank you in that moment, but it's a team effort. You know, it's like you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Live workouts are usually out uh, out for me because I'm in Alabama. And carpool is 7.15 to 7.50 Eastern Standard Time. But I crush your daily workouts as soon as they are posted. Those endorphins get me through the next 10 hours. Um, You're the real deal. I'm so glad I found you and the Clam Shack and this community. I have told all my friends and my hubby about you. Keep coming after your vacay. You deserve the time away. Have all the Prosecco you can handle. Which is a lot. So that's dangerous. But um, I just really... I'm happy to hear that. Uh, yesterday, I actually did a workout with Mary, a former workout. I did my own, and then I did a workout with her. And she was like, you don't have to do that. I was like, no, I want to do it. I, I Two reasons. I knew she needed a little extra motivation. It's hard to do workouts in the afternoon after work. So I knew that I was like, okay, come on, Mary. You got this, girl. Do it. Mm. And then I also kind of enjoyed doing my own workouts. That sounds really weird, but it helps me to become better and to learn what works, in my opinion, for this community. Ever since I started doing those Luca workouts, legs, upper body, cardio, and abs, it has kept me more on track in the transitions and less um, fluff. Because we are no longer in the pandemic, we have strict schedules. We've got to get people, places, and do things in a timely manner. Whereas during the, you know, pandemic, we had time to maybe dance a little longer and make these workouts a little bit longer and have a little bit more fluff between the transitions of working and twerking and laughing and all of those fun moments that we would have. But I recognize that, you know, your time is valuable. So um, those workouts have helped me become more diligent with the 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, boom, boom, boom. And a lot of you have shared with me that you uh, appreciate that. And I'm not sure if that's because you think I chat too much or have dance breaks too much. And that's true sometimes. Um, But it is, I know, helpful to keep the ball rolling. So I'm glad that this person shared that with me. And it's nice. So doing the workout yesterday with Mary was an older one. It was only like a year and a half ago. And I've learned since then a lot about myself and what I think is best for you guys. So I will keep evolving. I'm never going to stop learning and growing. And I hope you feel that way about your career and just hoping that you just continue to educate yourself and take a hard look at how you show up and how are you doing a good job. I sometimes feel like anxious when I've been away from you guys for a while because it you BBT is so um, important to me and it is my passion. Um, And sometimes when I've been like on vacation for a bit or Um, had to take time off for injuries or recoveries, I feel like anxiety. I'm like, I'm not doing a good job. I know you guys understand and are cool with me, but it's a self-reflection where I say, I just kind of feel like I'm half-assing it a little bit right now. And that's, I don't like that feeling. I don't like that feeling. So um, it's good to reflect, reflect on your shit. Well, hello, beautiful. Um, So I finally joined the clam community. Eek! Why did it take me so long? I have been working out with you since April 2021, just online on Instagram. In June, my husband and I bought a cottage and, well, two mortgages got me like, oh shit, I am effing broke. (laughs) I love how we say shit and not the F. Anyway, but now the renovations have calmed down and I have breathing room again and I have been itching to join your website. I'm here now, and I'm not going anywhere. Did my first website workout this morning, and damn, girl, that vibe is everything. The music, you, the clams, just the best. You have become an extremely huge part of my life. I work out every day because I want to, and I've never felt better, never looked better, and I'm just so excited to finally be a part of this community. You are a light in my life, and I'm so happy I found you. Well, I love this one. This one was perhaps 
screenshot it because um, I know that there are so many op op options out there for working out online. But this was like a reminder that I hope you choose to head to Body by Trainer <laughs> and try the workouts. I do enjoy this one because I know some of you have been Instagramming for a long time and biting the bullet to actually sign up for the subscription took a little longer, but it's so cool to hear that when you do, it is worth, it is worth your time and it is, is worth the, the payment. So I appreciate that. And I'm grateful to the Instagram people and of course to the subscribers, just having you in my life is, is very important. So Okay, now listen here, y'all. This is a fun one. Hi there. I don't know how many German followers you actually have, but you made it to my phone overseas in Cologne, Germany. I hope that's not pronounced Cologne, Germany. I think it's, I'm going to go with Cologne. I love that. Here's what I like about you and why I follow you. Just wait, this is a funny one. I like this. You seem to be a fun person who loves life. I have a rough streak, and you admit that some stuff is difficult and hard, but you motivate people to work through it, be it food, workouts, or waking up feeling good about yourself. I like your mixture of goofiness, but being sexy and natural on the other hand. So far, I haven't done one of your workouts. <laughs> I just love that. As uh, I said right now, I'm working through some of my days, but I most certainly will. I promise you that. I just want to give you a German wheat or so. Keep it up, girl. You are very special and motivating. I love that. I just think it's so cool that the, the clam community has reached Germany. And another thing I love is that this woman doesn't even do the workouts. That's cool. If I can be a positive, fun place in your life, like that's freaking awesome. That is huge. Very special. Okay, here we go. I think I'm going to read the hard one. Should I read the hard one? Let's see. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I have I have to edit this one part because for some reason I took a screenshot of it and somebody texted me, Mary, during it, so it had to cut off the top. But you'll get the gist. Here we go. Here's my very long thank you to you. Again, it's not that long. I almost sent this last week, but the timing was just off. Now it's perfect. My story of finding you is a bit of a long one and definitely starts in a dark place. In January of 2020, my younger 35-year-old brother with a two-week-old newborn went to the ER for a bad stomach thing. Three years later, he coded in the ICU, and they don't know why. We never actually found out why. We sat by his bedside in the hospital and hospice for one month before we said our ultimate goodbyes. I did get desperate enough to run stairs in the hospital to try to get my exercise therapy. So I love that. Just try to get the movement in. And then during my most difficult year, I couldn't go to the gym because of COVID. I was fine working out, working from home and isolating from the world, but I needed to work out to get the emotions released somehow. I did some online workouts with my old gym crew. They sat up cameras at the gym. And I had some instructors that live streamed. But I was in a funk. And then in late fall of 2020, Heather McMahon, thank you, Heather, mentioned you on a story. And I jumped in full force. It saved me. I mean, I was okay. I was coping. I was exercising. But I needed a community to keep me motivated. And you did that for me. And then I pulled my husband in and he understood why I was and am obsessed. Something about the workout last Wednesday and ending that with this Lady Gaga song made me cry because, and this is where it cut off. So I'm, it made her emotional. I'm going to paraphrase that. It saved me. I mean, I was okay. Oh, there we go. Got it. Uh-huh. I was exercising, but I need a community. I already read that. Oh, Mary, you didn't mess it up. Sorry, girl. <laughs> um, last Wednesday and ending that with the Lady Gaga song made me cry because I was, one, thinking about my brother who I still miss so dearly, and two, I was also happy that I had exercise to release my emotions, and three, I was so appreciative that a workout could make me get so emotional. Thank you, Megan. You've changed my last year in so many ways, and I can't wait to keep clamming with you and this community for as long as you keep it going. Well, I've become very close with this particular clam and her husband, and they mean so much to me, and they have been a gift to me. 
Um, so I'm just glad I could be there for this uh, person and and give her a, a hug during what I can't even imagine to be a very difficult time in life. All right, let's read one more. Here we go. I just wanted to say thank you for all that you do for this community. I was diagnosed with a rare kidney disease in 2019 and since then have been struggling health-wise and have been working on becoming listed as a transplant list, on a transplant list. Every day is a new day with different challenges that I never imagined I would have to deal with. That being said, I came across your Instagram at a time I really needed something to help motivate me, to stay positive and to just move my body. When I first started out about a year ago, I really wasn't sure I was going to be able to keep up during the workouts. I had to modify all the time, but your positive and encouraging words kept me going. I continued to try and work harder. I never looked forward to working out in the past, and now I do. And although I'm struggling with chronic illness, your workouts have truly helped me become stronger. In order to become listed on the kidney transplant list, I had to reach a certain goal weight. And I did that back in February of this year because of your workouts. I'm not officially a clam because, like I said, my condition and obstacles are always changing. And sometimes I'm not always sure what the next day will hold. But I am beyond grateful for the workouts that you offer on Instagram. I just felt the need to reach out and say thank you from the bottom of my heart and let you know that you have truly affected my life in such a positive way. So like I was saying earlier, if you're subscribed clam or you're an Instagram clam, listen to me. You are a clam. You're a part of this community. You're a part of my life. And it's just another way for me to connect with people by adding those subscriptions. But please just know that this is um, a community that is all inclusive and you're a part of it in a workout. You're a part of it. And no matter where you do it and how you do it and how often you do it. Um, I going through, uh, physical changes in your life is difficult, but going through like health, health challenges, um, is something that's like out of your control and really, really makes you, uh, think about life differently, especially seeing other people go through challenging things. So thank you for allowing me to be a part of your life to this amazing, strong human. Um, I could go on forever, but I know you guys have things to do and so do I. Uh, but I hope that these messages didn't make you sad, but made you feel fired up and made you feel excited to know that doing things like taking care of your body every day, whether it's 20 minutes or an hour workout, whatever it is, can impact you and can change how you view things, specifically how you view yourself and your self-confidence and allowing yourself to speak more kindly to yourself. So if you're listening to this and you're going through a place where you're not sure how you're going to make it out, how you're going to change your life for the positive, just start working out, start moving like 10 minutes a day. Do the warm up with me. Just do the warm up. Um, and then before you know it, you're going to be doing the whole thing and you're going to be like, damn, I wish this workout was longer. And that's such a cool feeling because you did that for yourself. Yes, I am the coach and I'm creating these workouts that make you feel good and, and music that lifts you up and makes you feel strong and powerful, but you're the one that's doing it. So just remember that. Remember this is teamwork and I'm in it with you and I'm here for you. If you want to share some more of these messages with me in hopes that it can help other people, I would love it. Just shoot me a DM on, on Instagram. Um, I'll keep them anonymous unless you want me to share who it is. Uh, but keep them, keep them coming, you guys. Um, during the really difficult time of pandemic, when I would get some of these messages, my brother would ask for a BBT story of the day. He'd be like kind of in a funk about something or he just needed a positive lift in his day. And he would send me a text randomly like once a week and just be like, send me one of the messages because he feels so proud of me, which is in return makes me feel so good because he's my big brother and I love him so much and he's such an awesome human. Um, I always wanted him to be proud of me and proud of the things that I've accomplished. So for him to ask that was just so cool because I was like happy to share it with him. But also it made me so happy to know that your story that I shared with him lifted his spirits and made a happy, positive impact in his day. And that's just so cool and special to me. So please keep them coming if you're feeling like uh, a workout motivated you or, or changed a way that you're thinking of something in your life that was generally 
womp womp or sad and now you view it differently um take yourself to the beach walk from the pool to the bathroom with confidence with your chest held high thinking about the things that you love about yourself the things that you're capable of and the person that you are the person that you show up you know they say people will always remember uh how you made them feel and you will feel good about yourself if you talk to yourself better like your best friend how would you talk to your best friend you wouldn't tear her down as she's walking to the bathroom you'd be like damn girl yes let's go get that pina colada with a floater on top let's go it's vacay so say that to yourself and and just know that it's a process and we'll get there together i love you guys thank you so much to everybody studios uh it'll be a, a slight pause but again i'm not going anywhere we'll be back and i'll be in the clam shack with you every day so please make sure you're popping over to body by trainer Thanks, guys. Love you. Have an awesome July, and I will see you soon. Bye. Oh, that was a good notes. Bye. <laughs>